What's the best way to figure out what fonts are used in a document? One way is to use Adobe Bridge. Most people don't know that you can find a list of all the fonts in a document in Bridge's metadata panel. For example, here inside Bridge, I'm going to click on my exercise folder, and I'm going to go down to the metadata panel in the lower right corner and scroll down here until I see my fonts. There they are, the list of all my fonts in this document. But knowing what fonts are in a document doesn't really help you change them, right? For that, you need InDesign's Find Font dialog box. I'll open this document in InDesign by double-clicking on it here. And now I'm going to go to the Find Font dialog box, which you can find in the Type menu. Find Font shows you all the fonts that are in your document, not only the fonts, but even the styles within the family. So I can see that this has Adobe Garamond Bold, Bold Italic, Italic, and Regular. Let's go ahead and find out where Myriad Pro Bold was used in my document. I'll choose it, and then click Find First. InDesign jumped to the first instance of this text in my document and it selected it, but I can't find it, partly because all the text is greeked out. Greek text is this grayed out effect that InDesign does when you're zoomed out so far that you can't read the text very well. It just replaces it with gray lines. But it makes it very difficult to figure out where your text is selected. So let me go ahead and click Done here, and then zoom into 400% with Command 4 or Control 4 on Windows. When you do that, it zooms in on whatever is selected on the page. In this case, text was selected because the Find Font dialog box selected it for me, so it zooms in right on the text. There we go. It's this word animation. I'll click off of it here. We can see that it's white text on this orange background. Now let's say my art director says, I don't want to use that font. I want to use a different font. Instead of having to go through your whole document searching for that font, you can simply go to Find Font in the Type menu, choose the font in the list, and then replace it with a different font. In this case, I'll replace it with a font called Party. But honestly, you could just choose any font randomly from the list here. Now I want to make sure that I choose this checkbox, Redefine Style when changing all, because this forces InDesign to not just change it on my document pages and my master pages, but also go inside my paragraph and character styles and change it there too. That's really important. I'll talk about styles in great detail in a later chapter, but believe me, you want to turn that on. Now I'm going to click Change All, and it goes through the entire document. It also gives me a little alert saying overrides have been applied to one or more styles. As far as I can tell, you can completely ignore that warning. I suggest just turning on the Don't Show Again checkbox, clicking OK, and then you won't have to worry about it anymore. It doesn't really mean anything's wrong. As I glance at my Fine Font dialog box here, I notice that it has Times New Roman regular listed, and that's not actually a font that I expected to see in this document. I didn't think I was using that anywhere. So I have a couple options to figure out where it's used. First, I'll click More Info. That actually gives me all kinds of information about the font itself and where that font is on my hard drive. But more importantly, it shows me what page it's on, page 5. In that case, this doesn't really help me, so I'm going to hide that information and use the feature that we looked at earlier, which is Find First. That'll jump right to it. There it is. I'll close Find Font, and you can see that this one word had Times New Roman applied to it. That mistake would be really hard to see if I was proofing quickly, so it's great that Find Font can find it for me. Now I can choose that and set it back to what it's supposed to be, Adobe Garamond. I always use Find Font before finishing a document. You would be surprised how often other fonts sneak in.